Today, Leo and I are taking a savage road trip through the heart of the poorest region in America, Appalachia. Dude, I actually just oh, yeah. got out of jail. Oh, wow. So did I! <laughs> yes! To be a president, you have to be born in the United States, correct? Yeah. yeah. Was Obama? Sorry. I suspect no. not. <laughs> Can we do negative, <laughs> negative numbers? If I drive you a f inch further, you gotta promise me you're not gonna go directly to a dealer. Oh. Yeah, I ain't got no money, so. This is an economic map of the region. The darker the blue, the poorer the area. Our trip, dear audience, will take us through the jaws of the beast. From Pikeville, Kentucky, to Welch, West Virginia. We'll get to precisely why this region's so poor in part two of this series. Along the way, you're gonna meet miners, rattlesnake handling preachers, and eventually you'll get the 411 on why my ass wound up in jail. So be sure to subscribe so you're notified of coming episodes. But for now, know this. This region is almost all white, and white people are in big trouble. Though U.S. life expectancy has been going up steadily over the last century, there's now been a sudden and dramatic reversal for just one demographic. White non-Hispanics in America and middle age are dying. The big increase was in what Case calls deaths of despair, alcohol-related liver disease, suicide, drug overdose. And it's people with a high school degree or less who are killing themselves in these ways in large numbers. That's the group that's getting hammered. Want to know where there's a high concentration of white people without college degrees? West Virginia, Kentucky. Maysville, Kentucky in the northeast corner of the state, just a short bridge away from Ohio. David Lawrence manages the Knoxon Brothers Funeral Home. He's been seeing a lot of dead white males of late. Why are white working class people doing so poorly? And in Appalachia in particular? I read J.D. Vance's Hillbilly Elegy for Answers. It, along with Peter Santinello's awesome series on Appalachia, inspired this video. Hillbilly Elegy is the autobiography of a man born into a broken Appalachian home. And out of crippling poverty, he ascends to Yale Law School, then a big-time career in business. From that vantage point, he lays out why Appalachia is so f***ed up. One, good jobs are, for reasons we'll cover in the next episode, scarce in the region, leading to a general level of substance abuse and despair. Two, working-class whites are the most pessimistic demographic in America and the most likely to blame the government for their problems. This pessimism becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, leading to more misery. And lastly, this region, and the working class in general, has a very high rate of broken homes. These homes traumatize and retard the children raised in them, passing on that legacy of misery to the next generation. But enough serious stuff. From here on, Leo and I are gonna dress like coal miners, the favorite sons of Appalachia, and act like jackasses. We find that to be the best way to learn about a culture. This series is brought to you by our Patreon supporters, and please consider supporting on there if you want a mountain-sized load of bonus videos. Now come along as we cruise the most impoverished region in America, Appalachia. Okay, I'm pulling over. I'm pulling over. Yeah. Dude, he, dude he, yeah, hell yeah, this guy's perfect. I just met Eddie on the side of the road. Good local boy. He had a restaurant recommendation for us. Tell me about this place, Eddie. It's, uh, they serve like hot dogs, hamburgers, they have specials, like soups and stuff. And oh, wow. What more could you want? But I mean, and in, in the morning, of course, they serve breakfasts. Home cooking, biscuits and gravy and stuff. Oh, that sounds amazing. Was, was that, uh, did you say bitches and gravy, Eddie? Yeah, yeah. They told some that bitches and gravy. That's our speed, yeah. right, Leandro? <laughs> Give me some. Yeah. Give me some. Okay. Eddie, what do you do around here for work? Uh, I'm semi-retired. I'm 55. Semi-retired? Yeah. What do you still do, I though? I like grass, weed eating and stuff like that. I'd give you about 20 bucks right now if you could de-weed the wolverine in Leo's pants. <laughs> I do have, uh, my pubic area is so overgrown, man. Mine is too. I actually just oh, yeah? got out of jail. Oh, wow. So did I. I did it. Yes. I did too. I got to show Eddie my mug shot so he knows I'm legit. Look at that. You see that mug shot right there? Yeah. That's me, baby. 
what was your crime? I bet I can one-up you. Well, I had a possession of a controlled substance. What's that, gasoline for your weed whacker? No, it was a uh, meth. It's meth. Okay. Well, that's just to help him do a better job of landscaping. Yeah, I mean, just go. meth is just a, what, what they call in L.A. is the, the poor man's Adderall. You know yeah, what I mean? So it was just you taking your, it was for you to focus, man. Some people <laughs> even call it in L.A., Leo, the middle class man's coffee. That's true. Well, I, That's true. I caught my get up and go. They're just now calming down on weed. Oh, really? Where it's, That's BS. Where, yeah. Eddie, I like what you called meth. Uh, my, your get up and go, huh? Yeah. When you do your get up and go, yeah. uh, you must do a bitchin' job of landscaping. Oh, yeah. And do you think the designs come to you easier when you're on the get up and go and you got that get up oh, and go yeah, in your I system? Get really creative. Man. See, it gets real creative. Tell me where the restaurant is. You see that gas station right there? Yeah. Can we walk it, Eddie? I just pull over there. I'm just gonna pull over there. Eddie, you've done enough walking, and I sense that this morning you're without your get up and go, too. Oh, yeah, yeah unfortunately. Got, I, mean, I just got done doing 14 months. Uh, oh, I man. 14 months? That's, uh, yeah. Congratulations, you're all free and clean now. You, yeah, you th you I did think the whole thing. So oh, that's fantastic. 14, congratulations, Eddie. Paper. How quickly do you think you'll get some more of that get up and go now that you're free? As soon as I get to town. Oh, great. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm currently driving you to town, Eddie, so I feel a little guilty. Well, you drive me to town. <laughs> So if I drive you to town, so Eddie, if, if I drive you to town, yeah. you are going to immediately fall off the 14-month wagon. Oh yeah, yeah my I'm man. As soon as I can find it. My man, dude. <laughs> That's how it goes, Danny. You know what I'm saying? Well, get up and go. let's get a cup of coffee and let's think it over, Eddie, before you fall off the wagon. See, oh. I want everybody to take note of what Eddie's doing. Getting some weed. Oh, he's definitely getting some definitely weed. Definitely getting some weed. Okay. Am I running to the right Danny, person? Danny, this is inspiring Let's me because just one step at a time, he's getting closer to his goal. Like, he's a little closer to the city now. He's a little closer to his get up and go. Yeah. Why do I think this wasn't what Anthony Robbins had in mind in his chapter on goal setting? I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, meth, though, what are the studies? Let me see the studies. I want some peer-reviewed study on this stuff. You know, I want the peer-reviewed studies. I'll show you the peer-reviewed studies. Eddie, can I see your teeth? Let's see. Well, what, why do you need them? Why do you well, need them? Well, yeah, why do you I need them? Eddie, I'll think about driving you halfway to town if you give an anti-meth PSA right now. Yeah, I would, I would love that. Don't do meth. Do as, I, do as I say, not as I do. That's, I always say that. I always say that. Oh my God, I say the same thing. You know, something about your honesty there, Eddie. It's, it's really hard to hate. Eddie, I really like you, man. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Like that video like you're on the get up and go. Then we upload some surprise videos in the middle of the week too. That's why you gotta be subscribed. Right, Eddie? Right, right. That's right, Eddie knows. So Eddie, we're taking you up to your auntie's house. Yeah. Awesome. And is your aunt's house closer or further away from town? Town's about Town's trouble. That's what town is. Yeah. Never has the line between good deed and bad deed on our part been thinner. You're right. You know, I don't know how I feel about this, but if it makes you happy, Eddie, I'm in. You Taking him to town, Leo? Eddie, anybody else hungry? I'm not too hungry right now. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't really see you take a bite of your hot dog there. Why don't you, uh... That's a good hot dog. It's a good, that's a damn good hot dog, Eddie. Funny, you should, that's, maybe you would have... That's the standard. You really think it was a good hot dog, Danny? That's funny. Maybe you would have taken another bite. Mm -hmm. Leo, I... Loved the hot dog. Oh, really? My stomach was clapping. Oh, let's see. Let's see. You take a nice big bite of that hot dog, buddy. I got, it's got chili and some mayo and some. That slaw. Yeah, that that's slaw. What kicks it out. It's got the slaw. Yeah. Slaw. Got, Didn't realize there was slaw. You got slaw and chili. And it's, I bet it's been refrigerated and, and cooked real good. I don't see that, that, take a nice bite, Danny. Get it in that system of yours. There it is. Yeah, chew that hot dog. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good hot dog, though. That's a good hot dog. It's a great hot dog. I love mine. Oh, there's a turtle in the road. We should get it. Oh my God! Well, nobody ran over it. It's too dangerous to pull over right now. Yeah, yeah, it's... Hey, what do you think about turtles, Eddie? <laughs> Not your favorite animal? No, I'm more into like lions. Lions. Lions, yeah, you like the big game. Eddie, do you think turtles are, I mean, do you see them as akin to being pests? Are they rodents in your eyes? No, no, 
I just they're slow and they don't do much. They're not very exciting. Right. They're the minivan of the animal kingdom. Right. <laughs> they're safe, they're slow, kind of boring. Yes. You know what f turtles? F right in their shell. Yeah, Eddie, just tell me where to go up here for your ants. Oh, we don't pass my ants. Oh, oh shit. Really? Yeah, a while back. Oh, I can flip it around. Was it on the 80? No, no I just, I'm going to count. He like no Danny. You oh, you know what's happening. <laughs> no. Film Danny. No. Oh, no. Eddie, you, you got me to take you to town, dude? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought that's what said. I thought we were going to your auntie's. No, yeah, we don't want that to happen. All right. Hey, Eddie, if I drive you a inch further, you got to promise me you're not going to go directly to a dealer. No, I'm not. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if you could support our hard work by subscribing to our Patreon. Not only do you support us, you get extra cuts from all of our videos every week, two exclusive vlogs every month, here's a sample of some of them, and also, you get to go live with me each Tuesday. So check it out. There are years worth of extra content. So if when the video ends on Sunday, you feel like you haven't had enough, Patreon is the place for you. This is kind of a nice town over. What do you call this town? Elkhorn City. Elkhorn City, Eddie. I grew up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, wow. Coal truck. Is this the finest attraction here in uh, Elkville? Well, there's several things around town. Is this uh, home, Eddie? This, this is where I grew up. This is a fine town right here? Yeah, but it, it's a lot of old, old money, old fuddy duddies. That's why there's no McDonald's. Uh, they tried to bring that shit in here. Yeah, it'd be a much better city if we had a Mickey D's. Those golden arches, Leo. We're coming to town right before we got here. The bridges just come across. Yeah, yeah. Interstate's going through. That's good for business. They're going to put some, you know, there'll be McDonald's at the exit there. You know what? That's what I'm talking about. Eddie, what do you plan to do this afternoon? Be totally honest with me. I'm going to go to where I used to stay and see if I got anything left. Anything left? Any possessions? Yeah. Okay. Holy shit, the house is gone. That was where you used to be? Yeah, right there in the living room. That's where his old house, Danny. You used to live there? This is where I was living when I went to get it. Holy. So, ago? Yeah, so all my stuff, I don't know if it's gotten gone. Should we look through and see no, if we can find your stuff? It's not going to It's not a bad idea to look through the rubble. I, I don't think it's going to be there. Well, Eddie, you got to be uh, you got to have a little can-do attitude. This is actually still pretty beautiful. I think you can salvage that. Yeah. That entrance way right there. There's some, I, mean, wow. I, I, I consider myself a realtor, and that's there's land value still. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There, there's some land value. Let's go check it out, Leo. I think we could. I think it's a fixer-upper. I'll admit All right. it. All right. You think there's just a little framework done to be done? Maybe some drywall, a little varnish, a little varnish. Yeah, varnish will really help, <laughs> huh? <laughs> but isn't it your property, Eddie? No, no, it ain't. Oh, it was a rental. Uh, neighbors are real nosy. Eddie, let's just go look at it real quick. I mean, it's it's public property on the street. Eddie, you sure you weren't on the get up and go and you passed out with a cigarette in your mouth? Maybe. Maybe that's why you went to jail 14 months ago. I think just a little routing and tile work. Just some tile work, huh? Just a little tile work. Spanish tile, yeah. Maybe maybe a little uh, maybe a Spanish tile roof because that's good for the fires. I see right now in my mind's eye, Eddie. I see a veranda over yonder here. You see that veranda, Leo? I, I see the veranda too. Yeah, I think you could take advantage of the natural beauty of the landscape with a veranda. What about a nice little deck? A deck would be beautiful. Maybe a hot tub? A hot tub and a deck. Here, at this house. You got arrested at the house? At this house. What were you doing? Why were you arrested? Oh, for warrants. Oh, warrants. Oh, uh, just warrants. Yeah. Yeah, Leo, I think if he cleans out the rain gutters, I think a new roof. Oh, the rain gutters. Where, where are those? You don't see them? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, this is a cosmetic fixer. You know, it's kind of one of the, you just kind of redo the bathrooms. <laughs> just redo the bathrooms and, you know, put some, some modern kind of, maybe a modern tinge on it. It's a quick flip. Do you see it, Eddie? Do you see the vision? I'm Oh man, it, I'm flabbergasted myself. That's what I mean, I gotta find these people now. Damn, there's a box full of stuff there. You sure none of that's yours? I don't want it. Eddie doesn't want it. You know, Eddie wants to let bygones be bygones. Eddie, well, I think you sink, what do you think, Leo? About four or five grand into that property? Flip it for 10% marked up. Easily. I think four or five grand, that place looks like a Spanish hacienda. With a veranda. That's right. We need the veranda, Leo. With the veranda. Eddie, can you, uh, can you define veranda? I think it's like a, 
Veranda's like a, a porch upstairs or something. Right? Uh, that's better than what I could say. Yeah. I have no idea what a veranda He's is. Right. That's the kind of architectural eye that'll flip that thing at a screaming profit. You're right. Can you imagine if he had to get up and go? Oh. <laughs> Thank you for driving us right over here. You got it, Eddie. Let's get up and go. Uh, I got to. That was, I gotta put, quit putting it in his head. Damn, I would hit so many bombs that little league. I would have been. I Wait, been Leo, good. I think, um, I think if you hit it out of the park and you hit a uh, grave from the 18th century, that's like two runs. You know, they, they were really nice and they made, they put that in foul, they put the cemetery in foul territory on that field, which I think yeah. is great because a foul ball going into the cemetery is not as disrespectful as you pimping a home run yeah. right into the cemetery. You know what I mean? Dude, that's like dragging your nuts across a headstone. Exactly. The home run. A foul ball is like, oops, that was an accident. Didn't mean to do that. If you do foul out too many times in one game, though, you may be haunted for several years. Yeah, that's true. I graduated from one over there. You graduated high school, that's great. Better than our cameraman did. I graduated when I was 16. Wow. I got a college degree. I got an associate's degree in business. Associate's degree. Nico, what degree do you have? When you got the man, you need to make sure you got it. Yeah, make sure you gun it. You better put your seatbelt on, because life's about to be real rough for you without a degree, Nix. Can't somebody use jack. Oh, boy. Eddie, you're the man, dude. Later, Eddie. Is this a good river to swim? I don't know, it's my first time being here. I hear a lot of Appalachian legends about like the Batwoman and the river monster. Have you heard about the Flatwoods monster? What about the Whirling Wimpus? Do you know what the hell a, a devil dog is? How about a sheep squatch? What do all these strange creatures and phenomena have in common? All supposed encounters with them and folklore about them has come from Appalachia. Any tall tales you've heard about river dwelling creatures here? My dad would probably know because they're from Hayside, Virginia. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's where we came from. Is he, he pointed that way, is he right down there? Yeah, you wanna go down there? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. We heard you're the grim brother of Eastern Kentucky. You know a lot about the folklore. Uh, no, we're from Virginia. You guys ever been here before? No, never no. been here before. We're, we're actually from the West, and we're just out uh, here West filming Virginia a little. Virginia or West? West, uh, like in the West Coast. California. Yeah, 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 California, yeah. yeah. They got problems out there. They got a lot of They problems. got problems. We don't like first, those. First, it's your governor. Instead of a boogeyman or a moth woman, we have Gavin Newsom. Yeah. That's yeah. our, that's our specter. You know, he's I'd the like only to. guy that, that, well, Trust I can't me. really comment. Go to the no. you know. Oh yeah, we're gonna yeah, catch yeah, you guys go coming down. We'll, we'll catch you guys we'll coming down. Shot. Yeah, so you're from hey. West Virginia? Yeah, no, not yeah. West Virginia, they're above us. Oh, okay. I don't know why they split the states. Leo, what the hell was that, we're dude? We're actually from Florida. Calling a Virginian a West Virginian is like calling a straight man gay. I didn't mean to call you homosexual even close. I don't know what he's bringing up. You can say what you want, it doesn't matter. Unbelievable. It goes like this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> look at that. Alex. I had a stroke. A stroke? Yeah, she was in a back door. Oh, okay. Horrific. A bad, a bad rack. Yeah, okay. Her knee was ripped open. Four, 40 pieces of metal. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. Yeah, they rebuilt her uh, ankle. Okay. And I had to learn to hold Talk and walk. Our cameraman has to relearn how to walk and talk every single night because he's yeah. such a fucking drunk. He gets so drunk that he forgets That's everything okay. and you know. Yeah, yeah. I read something, Alex, I read something about the about the tackle box tickler. Alex, the tackle box tickler comes up to fishermen's tackle boxes. He sneaks this in from the forest. Ori oriented uh, uh, thing. How dare you even assume the tackle box tickler shows up in late August mm -hmm. on the shores of rivers such as this, looking for anglers. He tiptoes in behind, coming out of the woods. He opens up their tackle box and finds the power bait. Then, Alex and Linda, he unscrews the lid and relieves himself into it. Uh, wow. Mine was mostly bare too, and it stunk <laughs> to pee. It's, the pee really stunk. I got this yellow stuff that just, yeah. It's not pee that he leaves, Alex. Well, no, it ain't that other stuff, because I'm running out. Well, the tackle box tickler's got plenty. <laughs> He's got plenty, and I doubt okay. you ran out. I bet you paint her like a goddamn canvas every single night. Oh, 
<laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. The tackle box tickler paints the inside of the power bait. So what do you, how do you guys feel about the Trumpster? We love him. He's the best. He's the best. You know what? But now you got this guy, the Swami Swami. He's talking the same thing that he want, that Trump does. Yeah, yeah. When he came out of that debate, drill, burn the coal, do everything. To be a president, you have to be born in the United States, correct? Yeah. yeah. Was Obama? We don't know. I suspect not. not. That dang Obama. Brother he came from Kenya. Cameroon or some such place. No, I think it was Kenya. He it's came from Kenya. Yeah. His brother on Twitter has been spouting out a lot. He's saying that he was born in Kenya. Yeah. So. Well, you know, all those people are going to go to jail when the Trumpster gets in there. That's you right. Know. Oh, they can't wait. And Obama's going to go to hell once his life expires. He can't wait to get Hillary. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, he, Hillary. Yeah, that's the first Crooked thing. He, Hillary. Every time uh, uh, Trumpster comes out of conviction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a conviction, I mean an indictment. Not a conviction. Mm -hmm. he's already, he's a, he was the president. Get exonerated, all that stuff. They're immunity from law, mm -hmm. but no one says they're above the law. So who is? If the president does all this stuff, right. who's above him? Oh, God. This is my hierarchy. It's God at the very top, mm -hmm. and then it's Donald J. Trump and Jesus yeah, yeah, in like 1A and 1B position yeah. right after that. They're, they're together. Kentucky. So Grundy's where the coal mines are? Yes. We're going to Grundy. You're going to go, you're gonna go right, you're going to go right, and it's about 10 miles up the road. Huge. Wow. On 83. 83. 83, you're going to go, you're going to go that way mm -hmm. out of here, right? Mm -hmm. It brings you into the little town of Hayside, and you're going to, you see a little funeral house, or, uh, and you're going to see a sign that said 83 West. You take that. Alex, we got GPS now, old school. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to Grundy. Leo, you and I can learn a lot from Trump. I mean, yeah. You just got to get random old folk in canes on the beach you. singing your praises. Yeah, that's it. We don't have that yet. We're not even close. We do have kids in apparently jails across America who look up to us. That's true. So uh, apparently um, we have a fan of the channel. What's your name? Dylan Stolzenbach. Uh, his brother happens to be cellmates <laughs> with Danny Mullen right now <laughs> in Hawkins County Jail. What is he saying? Oh, we him, tell him we're communicating. Right. We have the standing, camera. Staying with you right now. All right, we'll so, see what he says. We told him cameras are rolling, and he's he can be, Danny can communicate through this man's brother right now at Hawkins County Jail. Is that a good thing? Um. Well, you know, they need entertainment, and we're there for them. Hey, everybody! Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in me doing a video dedicated to the whole jail situation explaining why I went in, the status of the case currently. I am legally prohibited from using any of the footage of the incidents that got me thrown in the slammer, but we have a lot of periphery video that Nico took, Leo took, I took, that could be pretty interesting if it was wound together with some narration for me. Also, I kind of want to animate my in-jail experience to make that more interesting because obviously I didn't have a phone or a camera in there. Let me know, I'm be, I'd be very curious to hear. Leo, we just found a public pool here in yeah. Grundy? Yeah, I believe so. Grundy, I'm not even sure which state we're in. Yeah. We're in Appalachia though, that's for sure. They, the only reason I'm saying Appalachia, I wanna say Appalachia. I don't like it when people use the proper pronunciation. I don't like that, I don't like to bend the knee. But uh, I also don't wanna get slugged by a coal miner. True. So uh, there's a pool. Leo? Yeah. Five bucks says I can smoke you in a dive off as judged by whatever kids are in the pool. All right, let's go. Would you ladies like to uh, kind of give us numbers like one through ten on the dive? Sure. Yeah. Great. Hell yeah. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, They're, about to, are They're about to judge us. They're about to judge us. You can judge us too. Doing aerial maneuvers off the diving board. Hey, I'll impress you. I know you've seen a lot of stuff. You guys got your Transformer movies and your Godzilla. I will wow you with my aerial dynamics. You ready? Okay. All right, come and judge. <laughs> Do we do negative, negative numbers? It's so firm, dude. There's no gift. Ne negative. <laughs> There's no gift. <laughs> <laughs> 
actually managed to dive. <laughs> I think he outreached me. What do you think? How do you think I won? Did I win? He's on my side. Is that a warm up? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Okay. She's 34. Oh, wow, Leandro, she's, we have a suitor. She's younger than I am. Where are your chest hair? What happened? <laughs> okay. See? The chest That's hair? That's right. Yeah. She likes the no chest hair, buddy. Well, I became a man rather late in life. Most people hit puberty around 13, 14. 33. I can tell. 33. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. Every now and then there's just a beautiful lady who wants to have some fun and Whoa. I always think, you know, I always think like life is finite, you know. Life is finite and we're all gonna die one day, so I just I just look for the you know the fun, that moment of fun. You're kinda of false advertising here though. Why are you touching this because muscles? Mimi, you got a hurry. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Because I am false advertising, absolutely. You are. Mm -hmm. Because you know you're, what I mean? you're well spoken and you're real friendly and you have Thank your you. cross necklace like on cross and then you're up. like, uh, I don't know, I think about the fun for tonight. Yeah, I know. That's not <laughs> See, very god like it, at all. You exactly. know, I gotta yeah. false advertising. You're right, I'm false I'm a false advertiser. False you're right. That is right. That is hi. Um, yeah. um this is Leandro Tavio, and I'm Daniel Mullen. Yeah. I'm uh, an aspiring professional diver. I don't know if you saw my performance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I hope to make yes, it big. I hope it improves as you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you know. Okay. I think you need to yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right, Nico. But everybody, it's time that we continue on our road trip. You've been so lovely. Love Thank you, you for letting us dive off your board and yeah. meeting you. You're all lovely, like group, lovely people. Group picture with everybody. Yeah, let's do that. They'll be in the back. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, go! Woo! Go to heaven. We walked everybody. Go to heaven. Nice to meet you.